<laughs> hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome to my channel. You can see mostly lights here, but I do have my own ride, the 97 Eclipse. Leak. Anyways, uh, uh, today we're going to go work on the spoiler holes. If you look at the spoiler holes that I've done already, um, these are the spoiler holes. As you can see, it's bondoed over and everything, but um, yeah, we're working on the passenger side today. As you can see, I've already done it. Um, the, the trick is to here is you want to have something you want to have like a uh, something on the bottom so the bondo would you know glade over it so you want to make sure you do it at least an inch over the holes um, if you look at the other side here as you can see I've already done to bare metal and you know you want to make sure you sand around the hole as well so you make sure you get a nice even uh, adhesion so anyways but here is the materials we need um, this is not everything of course but um, as you can see I cut the fiberglass into these little squares you only need these squares for of course putting it over the hole uh, or right under it so first we're gonna start out with fiberglass this is what you need for basic mold um, so it holds structure so right here you just need a fiberglass you don't really need fancy stuff you can you can get some so next you're gonna need some uh, liquid hardener for it for the fiberglass um, of course you can change the color of the resin is I don't really care I'm not gonna really see it so um, yeah so we apply this apply the fiberglass stick it on the top and dry it all right that's for the bottom and for the top we're gonna need some of this this is the Bondo glass um, you can use just regular Bondo stuff, but this one's especially for automotive. Those actually have these little strands here, so it's going to be a little bit more chunkier, not more, you know, like more um, Bondo-y. So it's going to be a little bit more chunkier. Um, of course, you're going to need the cream hardener, of course, some of that stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go to that. I wonder if we're going to fart in this video today. No. You want to make sure those are nice and clean the surface some alcohol right here go ahead and spray it like that all right this is for the outside but I just want to make sure as you can see it's a little dirty still okay then we want to do it on the outside or the inside I mean so spray like that you want to go inside as you can see I don't know if you can get a picture of the holes inside the thing, but um, there's probably some there if you can see them. Yeah, a little bit. So we have to make sure that the fiberglass sticks, so that's why we use the alcohol. You can use any cleaning agent, you know, mirror spirits, whatever. You want to make sure those things stick together and make sure it holds. Next, we're going to use the fiberglass mat, so we're going to use our mixture whatever they use on the box just follow directions we'll see so we got our um fiberglass mat so we're gonna go ahead and mix our stuff uh, i think i use a cup or something no i use the board it's something like this right this is gonna act like our board okay now if you didn't know I'm a pro baker and everybody knows that wax paper doesn't stick to anything and uh, what, what we're gonna do is just gonna measure the length a little bit extra this is a cool little science trick right here this is like chemistry cats all over again wax paper this is gonna act like our uh, mixing board as if you're this is a cooking class this is your cutting board equivalent. That's like eight. This is this is so far the most production that y'all ever seen right here. This is what you call the backyard mechanics, ain't that right, brother? Looks like the bed you sleep on. No, you. Sleep. And you're gonna sacrifice one of your old toothbrushes or your brothers. Wait, what? Nothing. All right, so as you can see, just pour it. That's all you gotta do. Okay, that 
should be a really good amount. I hope. Um, you can cap it off, whatever. Then I'd say do about, oh no, six, seven drops. One, two, three. That's about, that's about eight. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, what you want to do is just work it in like this. All right. Just mix it through for about like a minute. Okay. I have this uh, Lazy Susan table. Very unique right here. Okay. You smell it, Ryan? No, I'm not trying to. Okay. All right. So we got our mixture here. Um, just leave it there. We're gonna go get some mats. Bring it with you. Now you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure you get it onto the metal first, so this could adhere. So we're just gonna grab some <laughs> ghetto productions right here. Okay, hold it like you're sp spoon feeding. You can get another side if you want. It's gonna get all over my hand, bro. You just want to like brush it on there. Don't get it on the important stuff. Now I'm getting in this corner here. This is the back corner. It's kind of hard to kind of film, but you just want to make sure you get those areas there. The first initial areas. You want to work fast too, because Bondo's the same way. You kind of have to do it like that. So, you know, and after that, we use the technique of our hands. I usually have a clean hand as well, all times. But, do one of these. You ever done like bread in on a chicken? <laughs> right there. Now, we have to get inside and stick it on there. I'm not sure if you can even see that, but I think I got it first try, dude. If you can get that inside this one, you see there's still see through, but. The more layers we do, the more better. So, but as you can see, it's it actually filled that hole right there. Now we do it to the rest of the holes and then, yeah, we wait, I guess. See, I press it in once and then I just kind of just stick on the sides. Like I go one there and I just, that's it. See? Filled. Done. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to touch the trigger. Watch out, blade. We're just going to heat it up. That's it. Heat it from the outside, too. Bro, at this point, just let it suck it. Never give up. You got it. Always fight for what's right. It's like some Muay Thai champions. Okay, Uzi. You know that one video? What? There's another way. Going another way. Proper break time. Alright guys, got the first layer on there. As you can see, that's our kind of base layer. Um, so now we're going to work on getting another layer on here. So let's go ahead and get more fiberglass. Alright guys, so we got our five fiberglass mats. So we're going to repeat the process like the first time. As you can see, we got a little bit more. Just keep adding your, um, your resin. You can't have too much resin. So... I ain't the <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm super easy. What the fuck? I gotta 
make more fiberglass. Oh! Is it on the hatch? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's quick maths. I'm not good. Oh! Yeah. Just like you're whisking eggs. The technique, bro. All these resin guys would be like, bro. Yet again, there's literally 40 people who watch the video, so. Thank you to the 40 people. Thank you. Now we're gonna get this part. We got all these done. Just, I'm just using my hand at this point. Oops. Oh, what do you want to hear in the doctor's office? All dried up. <laughs> you know what? I'm not that bad with body work. Huh. That went on seamlessly. From the outside? Yeah, inside, outside, yeah. So the next step would be to actually use a bondo over the existing holes here now. Now that we have a um, something on the bottom supporting it, it won't just fall through. Um, now we can use bondo and flatten this area. Um, if you haven't already, you can sand the area and clean it again. But yeah, we're just gonna let it dry again. So after that, it should look like this side, as you can see. If you haven't shown this side, you can try to right there. I mean, it's pretty smooth. It's here, here too. You can still see it, but it's like physically you cannot feel it. egg tell me this doesn't look like little Einstein's spaceship the rocket ship bro it does nah. it does nah. GG alright guys thank you guys for watching peace <laughs> <laughs> alright guys so if you haven't learned how to do any putty work or auto body or anything like that uh, make sure you read up on the instructions carefully on like certain uh, brands you know so this one's uh, as you can see it has a fiberglass filler so it's actually gonna be a little bit thicker than your average uh, Bondo so it's also a different color so yeah we're gonna go apply this today make sure you have your um, your holes or at least an inch from the hole as you can see and make sure you clean up all that area all the fiberglass is hard and as you can see for the middle one yeah that's hard so we're gonna work on that and yeah 
all right guys so i just got the first layer done as you can see it's not going to be um so perfect but you want to make sure you fill up the holes first as best as you can but i'm going to go ahead and let this dry it's really sun's being down right now so it should dry pretty fast but as you can see um almost all the holes are filled i'm going to do the hatch for last so you guys can see really what to do um but here's the before there's the after of course we're going to sand it again so make it smooth so let's go ahead and do that all right guys i'll try my best to kind of show you pov style of what i'm talking about when the fiberglass is ready but here you can see it's kind of like poopy brown you want to make sure you get that color of course i got my board with the wax paper and then all you gotta do is just grab some as you can see and just lay it over like that I usually first I usually hit like like this you want to go kind of fast you do it like this up and down till you smooth it out All right, then you're gonna get some more. Okay. Okay. Delete some. There you go. Go like this. Just like that. Just so you can like get a nice smooth surface. Alright. And then when it starts building up like that, that means it's time it's setting already, so you kinda have to be faster than usual. So after that just let it dry. Um, it shouldn't take that long since it's really sunny outside, but yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you get a good picture. There's barely any holes showing anymore, so yeah, we're working on that. Alright guys, so next step you want to do, um, after you're sanding with 150 grit, you kind of want to do a double your grit size, so this is a 320. This is the closest I get, 300. So um, make sure you use one of these flat. You can use anything that has a flat um, parallel surface to the um, sanding surface that you're doing because you want to make sure that it's, it's it's nice and roundness, rounded to the uh, the surface. So you want to make sure you use something like this. Um, and this is how it looks like right now. This is with, I believe, just the 150 grit. As you can see, we have barely anything showing. Um, so I'm just going to hit it with that 150 or that 300, I mean, and make sure you get every little refinement here. It does look a little bit weird compared to this side, but i um, pretty sure when we're done with it, this side is going to be non comparable. <laughs> as you can see. All right, let's get on to it. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. Um, as you can see, we do have a nice transition layer as well. Barely noticeable. Um, it's really smooth. It really is. Uh, I can't even feel where the holes were um, without looking at it like this. But um, yeah, came out really nice. I had to kind of go inside the hatch here because I went a little bit overboard. This side I didn't need to because I made a border right on the maybe like uh, five millimeters from this lip here but overall it's really smooth it really is pretty smooth so I think that's it so that's how you really do it I mean you'll probably need a wash too but um, I'm gonna do this off camera but I'll just shoot a couple photos for you guys now
but that's how you do your um, spoiler holes so I mean that's how it's done that's the best way I can think of to try to do it but again you want to make sure you want to sand those layers down to that bare metal so I get a very good adhesion so this one's up next so I hope you guys enjoy the video